Hello YouTube! I am back after a long hiatus. I am no longer Game Guy Advance. Now I am Sir Dar. Anyway, today I'm going to be roasting some thoughty who thinks she's better than 99% of the men in the world. <gasps> surprise, surprise! Every single one of them. Well, every young woman anyway. Alright, let's get this red pill circus on the road, shall we? Are you hoping to find a match today? Yeah! I mean, I'm hoping not to continue this pattern of very, very bad men. <laughs> so, translation. Yeah! I think I'm better than everybody because I've only dated bad boys. Yeah! Holy shit, it looks like an Instagram post in here. Like, I have thoughties on my Facebook that get responses like that. Hey, beautiful. Mmm, if only I had you. Let's fuck, let's get together. Where you live, shoddy? Oh yeah, here's a dick pic, yeah. Dude, look at these pathetic lonely simps. No wonder we have problems with Instagram, only fans, and every girl thinking they're better than every man in the world. Their egos are fucking skyrocketing. You can just slap some foundation and makeup on and find a guy in 10 minutes on Instagram. Probably not even 10 minutes, probably even faster than that. Hey baby, wanna fuck? Yeah. But alas, that's what hookup culture has done to us. And what the hell is a tea panty? This fucking triggered me. Guys, stop acting like she's the fucking prize. She's been fucked by a million guys. It's not anything worth anything. Come on. If anything, you guys are the prize. Because men have a harder time getting into a relationship than a woman does. And you're about to see exactly why in a few minutes. Stop over-validating her and going in gung-ho. If anything, women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. <laughs> Well, those two simps were the first of many to go, and I love how everybody just scoots in closer to her. It's like they don't even care about their fallen brethren. There's a sisterhood, but there's no brotherhood. They're just all, ooh, they're gone. Now I can scoot in and get my chance, get my dick wet. Yeah, I'm thirsty. I've been out in the desert for 20 days. Get my hands out to groper. Mm -mm -mm, I'm thirsty. Gotta get that rapey face on, yeah. I love to dance, so I don't like it when I'm with somebody who's a total Debbie Downer or boring and just kind of stands there and doesn't want to dance. Oh boy, she's a party girl. This is going to be good. Fuck all that shit. That's just wasting time and destroying your body with booze and drugs. You will not find anyone of value at a club or a bar, believe me. Look at the smug look on this fucking bitch's face. She's pretty much just saying, Fine, you're not welcome in here anyway, you simp. I also want to slap the shit out of the little pussy boy asshole that said, There's a party in my pants. <laughs> Never heard that before. I would definitely want someone open minded, but not a freak. So you shouldn't be into feet, but you know, a little choking is a little fun. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't laugh too hard, boys. You won't be getting any tonight. Well, not from this bitch, anyway. <laughs> that emoji. Anyway, what the fuck does she mean be gentle with the choking? What is the point to even choke, then? 
I do like them tall because I'm pretty tall for an Asian girl. And when I put on my heels, I would like to still be shorter than Mama Ann. So they need to be, I think, at least 5'11". But I Bitch, that's not even a quarter of the population of men that are that tall. I'm not even that tall. She's 5'6", I'm 5'7". Just being that much taller isn't good enough for these thotties, though. They need a guy that's 20 fucking billion times taller than her. Why don't you just date a goddamn giraffe? Another thing that pisses me off is every fucking woman says is, I need him to be above six feet, above six feet, above six feet, above six feet. Go on Tinder. You'll see it. So basically, what females are telling you if you're a man is if that you're not above six feet, you have no sexual market value whatsoever. Anymore. I prefer like six feet tall. <laughs> Is this how Tinder would be represented if you could see it in real time? <laughs> I um, would not want to be with somebody who wants kids within seven years. Oh, well of course not. Here's another smashed out thotty that's making demands about children. Women these days do not want to give men children. They do not want to have kids, ever. I love kids. I've been an aunt since I was 10, so I'm like a natural around babies and kids. But I want to really just share a love with somebody that's so great and it's all about loving each other before we can, you know, bring somebody else in the world. I think you should be mentally stable as well, financially stable, because you're going to be responsible. Why are these men even still here like pieces of meat listening to this drivel? for shaping their future. It's kind of a big pressure because you could really fuck somebody up in the head if you're not there. And I take that really seriously. You know what, I have a younger brother and anybody younger than me, I just automatically think of my brother, so. I just noticed, look at how she's sitting in the center of them. She's like up on a pedestal, like society likes to put women. Like they could be the hottest person in the room, and if they tell me they're even a month younger than me, I'm just like, oh, I just see my brother, and it's like, oh, he would not date my brother. I can guarantee you that that's not true. If the guy was younger than her in a perfect 10, she'd be all, okay, baby. And have you ever heard that before? I'm 20, but I'm mentally 25. <laughs> you know what, bitch? I certainly hope you fucking do. single for a while. <laughs> <laughs> At least someone finally said fucking something. Well, that's what your high standards get you, bitch. You get zero men. That was a waste of fucking time. 20 guys and couldn't even make one of them work. I think I'm about done here. If this is what society's become, unless you're rich and six feet tall, you're doomed.